Hey everyone, Aaron Rift here from NoDQ.com. This is NoDQ Live. I just finished watching Raw, and I thought it was a pretty good show overall. We officially have Goldberg in the Raw Rumble. Goldberg cutting a promo at the start of Raw, announcing that he would be the first man to enter the Raw Rumble, and everyone is next. And apparently Stephanie confronted Goldberg backstage and said that Goldberg should have one more title reign left in him and Goldberg agreed on this. So Goldberg is going to get in a WWE ring again at the Royal Rumble. Please tell your friends about No DQ Live. Spread the word. This video will also be going up on youtube.com slash Aaron Rift No DQ. I would like to thank you all for the birthday comments. Actually, it's still technically November 21st here on the West Coast, but I do appreciate all the comments. Let me know what you thought about Raw. I will go ahead and read some of the comments from you guys. Any questions you have about Raw, anything you would like to ask me, go ahead. Toronto Master Crowd. Toronto equals Master Crowd from Will. Toronto was a great crowd tonight, and uh, I, I hate to say it, but... Goldberg won over Toronto. I'm not sure I hate to say it, but it surprised me because I thought that Toronto would never forgive Goldberg, but maybe it's a combination of the Toronto fans finally letting it go and also it being a new audience where you have younger fans and a new generation of fans because this crowd in Toronto, they were very hot for Goldberg, other than maybe 20 or 30 guys that were trying to get a you-screwed Brett chant going. They were very hot for Goldberg, so I am happy for Goldberg that, at least so far, it looks like this win over Brock Lesnar is going to create a new era for Goldberg, and maybe he can end his career in WWE on a high note. Again, thank you all for the happy birthday comments. Any comments you would like to make about Raw, I will read off some of them here. John asks, do you think Taker will win the title at the Rumble and face Goldberg at WrestleMania? I'm not sure what's going on with The Undertaker. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens on SmackDown in the coming weeks to see if Undertaker gets involved with AJ Styles. One would think that Undertaker will come out and confront... AJ over the Royal Rumble and all the controversy there. Chris says, what's more likely at Mania, Goldberg versus Owens or Owens versus Balor? I think Owens versus Balor. I think Owens versus Balor would be a really solid match for WrestleMania. It would make sense for Finn Balor to come back and get his rematch for the Universal title. I do not think it would make any sense for Balor to enter the Royal Rumble. I mean, he should be granted an automatic rematch, right? I mean, it would be silly for him to be in the Rumble like that. Stacy Tyler, do you think Nia Jax is a future contender for the women's title? I'm not sure. I mean, I think it depends on if Sasha Banks regains the title yet again next week in Charlotte, North Carolina, which I'm not expecting, by the way. I would be very surprised if Sasha won the women's title for a third time on Raw against Charlotte. That would be very much overkill. I'm expecting Charlotte to retain next week. But again, this is WWE Goldberg beat Brock Lesnar. Anything can happen. Will asks, what did you think of the naked Enzo segment? Well, if I was a chick, I would find that pretty damn hot. But to me, it was a little bit disturbing. But, I mean, the guy's got a good body. What can I say? Um, it was a weird segment. I mean, very un-PG for WWE. I mean, that, that was uh, a little bit pushing the envelope. And, you know... Big Cass making the joke about Rusev being soft if his pants were down. I mean, yeah, I guess the Attitude Era is back. Yeah. Um, Nick asks, do you think the Revival will be the ones to beat New Day? I think they should. Absolutely. 100%. If it was me booking, I would do that. Kyle asked, is the beard coming back? For now, it is. I mean, I think I'm going to maintain it a little better than last time. But yeah, I think I might bring it back at least... At least uh, a little bit more cleaner than it was before. Let's see some of these other comments. Where's Triple H at? Triple H is waiting for it to be January so he can come back and start the build for WrestleMania, which is really silly when you think about it, how long they're dragging this out, but whatever. Uh, somebody said the the segment with Enzo was really funny. Yeah, it, it, was, uh, it was something else. I mean, 
very un PG era like. So, I mean, I liked it just because it was pushing the envelope a little bit. And uh, it might help with the female audience too, I think. Um, Kayla asks, when is Triple H going to come back to screw Rollins? Roadblock? I think Royal Rumble. I mean, I, I could see... Seth Rollins entering the Royal Rumble and Triple H costing him. Although, a lot of people are thinking that Goldberg is going to get screwed by Lesnar in the Royal Rumble again, even though it already happened in 2004. But maybe WWE's attitude is that fans have already forgotten about 2004 since that's the forgotten Royal Rumble due to you-know-who. Um, what's up with the New Day's title defenses? I'm not sure. On Raw tonight, we had yet another instance where the New Day is cheating to win, even though they're supposed to be baby faces, we have Xavier using the trombone to distract Cesaro, and um, how big is Batista's dick? Well, I'm not sure if it's as big as Enzo's, I mean, Rusev said that there was a big problem when he looked down at Enzo, so, I mean, they might have some competition between Enzo and Batista, I guess maybe they'll have to have a little bit of a competition. Maybe they can do that for Monday Night Raw one of these days, have Batista come back with his pants down and they can they can compare sizes. I don't know. Um, another happy birthday comment. Thank you for that. Um, what happened at the Royal Rumble 2004? I have no idea. I, I, uh, I think Big Show eliminated himself and nobody won the 2004 Royal Rumble. Um, Randall Johnson asks, um, I missed it. Now, these questions are coming in so fast, so I apologize, I apologize if I miss one. Um, Cesaro tweeted, I'm tired of this. I did not see that tweet. I mean, I'm guessing it's just part of the storyline. Maybe it's going to lead to something. Maybe Cesaro will go to SmackDown. Who knows? I mean, I could see WWE doing a trade at some point. I, I'm not sure if it's uh, been long enough, but it very well could happen. Uh, again, if you're watching this, please share it on Facebook. Tell a friend. Um, this video will also be going up on the No DQ YouTube channel. So if you miss part of it or you only have a few minutes to check it out, uh, you can watch the whole thing up on YouTube later. Um, when are we getting the Elimination Chamber? It's going to be a special event again or is it going to be back to being a standalone pay-per-view? Um, I believe they're doing it. In February, if I'm not mistaken, um, now that we have the the uh, the single branded pay per views, um, there's going to be room for Elimination Chamber now on the schedule. So I believe it's coming back in February, but um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Um, Cesaro to SmackDown, yeah, I mean that I could see that happening. Maybe they do a trade. Um, did you hear about CM Punk returning at WrestleMania 33? Um, I think that's highly unlikely in all likelihood, but um, you know, CM Punk actually talked about doing another fight and possibly fighting in the UFC again. Time will tell what's going to happen with that. I mean, if there's money to be made, I think Dana White will find a way to have CM Punk fight in the UFC again. I mean, it's, it, it comes down to business, I mean, at the end of the day, and uh, CM Punk made a lot of money for UFC with that, that UFC appearance. Um, you know, I was there because of CM Punk, and I'm sure a lot of other people bought the pay-per-view. I, I think they said something like um, they got 100,000 pay-per-view buys more than usual because of CM Punk being on the card, and that adds up to a lot of money. So I think CM Punk more than paid for his um, his fighting salary. Stacy asks, Brock versus Rusev? Um, I'm not sure. I know Rusev uh, sent out that tweet making fun of Brock for losing. Um, I'm not sure. I mean... <laughs> Nothing would surprise me at this point. I mean, after Goldberg winning at Survivor Series, um, you know, it, it does... The, th the thing I liked a lot about Survivor Series was that it, it brought back that idea that anything can happen in WWE. For the longest time, things have been so predictable, and I will always choose unpredictability over something that's predictable, um, unless there's a huge logic gap. Now, Goldberg winning, um, to me, this was the right move because Goldberg came out there and he was the old WCW Goldberg again. And that's what got Goldberg over in the first place was him coming out there and destroying people. And I think people were also getting tired of Brock Lesnar and uh, his run. I mean, it was really watered down a lot. I, I feel that Brock has cooled off significantly since WrestleMania 31. And uh, to me, him losing is not the end of the world. I mean, his matches were getting very boring and predictable. So I, I like the fact that we saw something different. Um, and to me, that's a positive. And, uh, you know, ideally, I would have liked to have seen somebody else beat Brock Lesnar. But 
I mean, at this point, whatever. I mean, at least Goldberg got his moment, and there's some excitement now leading up to the Royal Rumble, um, which is better than no excitement at all, which is what I was feeling beforehand. Um, let's see what other comments we have here. Um, WWE is all about contract and money from TV shows ratings. All right, guys, keep sending in your comments. Thank you all for watching. Um, do you think that Owens versus Balor, Seth versus Triple H, Goldberg, Lesnar, and Taker, Cena, AJ Orton will be the top five matches at WrestleMania? I mean, that, that sounds very solid, those five matches for WrestleMania. That, that would make a lot of sense, but um, I'm sure nothing is set in stone at this point. Um, no, I do not see Demolition challenging New Day. Um, I, I highly doubt we'll even see Demolition appear. I believe that that lawsuit that they're part of is still pending. Um, so not expecting to see any kind of Demolition appearance. Besides, what can they do at this point, really? Um, anything physical? I, I don't think so. Um, do Revival debut on SmackDown tomorrow? I, I, I don't think they'll debut on SmackDown. I think they should debut on Raw and beat New Day, and uh, until New Day breaks the record, what what is it, like 40 days to go, or less than 40 days? I'm not even sure the exact number. They did mention it on Raw. Uh, maybe somebody can comment on the exact number of days left. Um, when will Nakamura debut, and on which show? I think he, he'll be debuting after WrestleMania, but, I mean, it could be sooner, but I'm not expecting it. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking him and Joe will have another match, and Nakamura will win back the title. I, I just sense that he'll be in NXT for a while, but realistically, both of them should be on the main roster. Both Joe and Nakamura should be on the main roster in 2017, 100%. Um, the, the key is developing some new talent that can carry the NXT brand in 2017. Um, you do have Bobby Roode, and you do have some other guys. Um, new Day is stale, but I don't know which of the three should go heel. That's a good question. Um, I think Xavier would be the best heel of the three. Um, Big E, I think, could do well as a babyface. We know Kofi can can do well on his own as a babyface. Um, you know, Kofi surprised me, though. I mean, he, he did better than I expected as a heel when he was part of the New Day group. Um, who will Goldberg face for the title? I mean... I'm not sure if Goldberg is going to win the title or not. I mean, if I had to make a prediction, I would say that Brock Lesnar costs Goldberg again at the Royal Rumble, which is lame, you know, going back to earlier. But um, I would be really surprised if Goldberg won the Royal Rumble. But stranger things have happened. I guess we can rule nothing out at this point. Alex said, love your Bernie Sanders t-shirt. Yeah, isn't it great, Bernie Sanders? I, I get the joke, by the way. Um, let's see. The Purge will be cool. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. So I made a bet on NoDQForms.com that if Goldberg beat Brock Lesnar, we would have a purge day on Thursday, which means it's no holds barred in the group. Um, as long as you're following Facebook's terms of service, you can post whatever you want on there on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Um, so if you do not like the trolling in NoDQ Forms in the group, then I would suggest staying away and spending time with your family on Thanksgiving. Um, so that's enough of the no DQ forms talk. I, I know Gilberto's in here somewhere. I saw one of his comments. Um, do you think Sting versus... Stop asking me about Sting. Sting is not coming back. He is not coming back. He's not wrestling again. As much as I would like to see it happen, it is not a realistic possibility. How do you turn Woods heel? I think that Woods is just the guy to turn on the group same way, like you mentioned, as as Rollins turning on the shield. Um, Xavier, I think, is the best at cutting promos, so because of that, I think he would be able to make a heel turn work, and uh, Big E could get a very solid run as a babyface. Um, you know, he's got the charisma, he's got the personality. Do you think Sami Zayn will end up on SmackDown due to the carelessness of Mick and Stephanie display tonight? I'm not sure. I mean, I think Sammy would be better on SmackDown. Um, how big is Sting's you-know-what? Okay, that that's a new take on it. I thought Batista was the joke. I don't get the Sting part of it, but whatever. Maybe just a joke because of people asking me about Sting returning. Um, I'm getting some of these troll comments. So i got to be careful when I'm, when I'm reading off here. Goldberg versus Gilberg. Um, I would love to see Gilberg versus James Ellsworth. That's a match I think WWE should put together. ASAP. That would be funny. Gilbert versus James Ellsworth. 
Hell, do it at WrestleMania. That, that would be a lot of fun. Since they signed Ellsworth to a contract, you might as well go all the way now and bring back Gilbert and, and have this epic feud. Maybe have Barry Horowitz as the guest referee. How about that? Will Braun Stro what will happen first? Strowman winning the world title or Strowman dressing up in a diaper? <laughs> um, or Strowman dressing in drag? Um, probably one of the later two. Uh, maybe dressing up in drag, I think, is more likely, quite frankly, than him winning the title. Sting versus Ric Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, that would have been nice two decades ago. Now, not so much. Should WWE bring Austin Aries up to be a part of the Cruiserweights? WWE should bring Austin Aries in to challenge one of the major titles. Um, Austin Aries is another guy that should be on the main roster in a key position. Um, one of the best guys in the company. Um, definitely better than the better than just being a cruiserweight. With, with all due respect to the other guys in the cruiserweights, I mean Austin Aries is just at a, at a top tier level. I mean he's one of the best performers they have, so um, he should definitely be way up there in the upper card. When do you think we will see the Undertaker again? I mean I don't see him really making any kind of significant appearances until I mean. I think he should appear soon to confront AJ and then maybe do an angle, but there's no need for Undertaker to be on TV every single week until the build for WrestleMania starts. Um, so unless they're going to do something at TLC, which is only two weeks away or not. Yeah, it is TLC. TLC in two weeks, Roadblock is in a month. Um, so it's really no need to have Undertaker show up with the next pay-per-view in two weeks. You might as well start building up something towards the Royal Rumble, maybe do Undertaker and AJ at the Royal Rumble. I could see that as a possibility. Where is Neville, asks Steve. I wish I knew the answer to that. Um, Neville is definitely one of the most underutilized guys, and you know you can send in your nominations for the NoDQ.com year-end awards at NoDQ.com slash polls. And um, in my opinion, Neville is a, a strong contender for that award for the most underutilized WWE talent of the year. I mean, it's a real shame. I mean, he just seems like he's going nowhere and he was a former NXT champion and look where he's at now. I mean, he's not even on television. At least when he was in NXT, he was getting some TV time. Is Shaq versus Big Show guaranteed to happen? Um, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, and they, they've already said they're going to do the match. So I'm assuming it's going to happen and sometime early next year, Big Show will resurface on TV and, uh, Maybe he'll be the one to beat up Braun Strowman and then get his big push for Shaq at WrestleMania and everyone will complain. Um, other than Dolph Ziggler, who do you see challenging The Miz for the IC title? Looking at the SmackDown roster, I mean, probably Apollo Crews, even though it seems like WWE's already given up on him. Um, Crews seems like a good contender. Um, maybe they'll have Kalisto. I don't know. Um, I guess Kalisto's feuding with Baron Corbin. Um, so they'll prob probably just for the time being stick to doing the usual Dolph Ziggler versus Miz never ending feud, um, which I felt should have ended at no mercy, but they, they keep it going for whatever reason because they got nothing else better to come up with. Goldberg versus Undertaker, WrestleMania 33, your thoughts? Um, if Goldberg can go and work a longer match, the thing about Goldberg is. Who knows how much he can do at this stage of the game besides come out there and hit a spear and hit a jackhammer. I mean, that is what people want to see out of Goldberg, but do they want to see a 20-minute Goldberg match? And can Goldberg pull off a 20-minute match? That is the million-dollar question. Um, Riff Aronson versus Braun Strowman. Um, Riff Aronson, no doubt. He's got magical powers. He's got magical beard powers, for that matter. So um, his beard would take out Braun Strowman's beard in a heartbeat. Do you think WWE dropped the ball with Billy Kidman? Um, to a degree. I mean, I was not a fan of Billy Kidman's uh, DMX knockoff music. And, um, you know, when they changed his look, um, for whatever reason, he just didn't translate into a major star in either WCW or WWE. In WCW, they tried with Hogan, but, um, you know, it just didn't work out. So, I mean, Kidman was a great wrestler, but he wasn't, like, like the most charismatic or best on the mic, so I think that hurt him a little bit. When are we going to see Sister Abigail? Never. 
Although, as I say that, that's when WWE will actually do it. It's like, WWE just likes to screw with me. You know, for WrestleMania, I said that if Zack Ryder won the IC title, I would shave my head. So what happened? Zack Ryder won, and I had to shave my head. And then I say if Goldberg beats Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, no DQforums.com will have a purge day. And what happens? Goldberg wins. So it's almost like WWE is booking things just to screw with me and uh, make me look like a complete idiot, which is pretty easy to do, actually. But WWE just loves to uh, do it as much as possible. Do you think Goldberg will be entry number 30 at the Rumble? Um, that, that could happen, but I think it would be better to have him come out earlier and just go on a rampage, eliminate like 10 guys or something. I suppose he could do that at number 30. By the way, here's an idea. Ty Dillinger coming in at number 10 at the Royal Rumble. How about that? Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, who wins, Rey Mysterio or Jushin Liger? Um, did they have a match in WCW? I'm, I'm not sure if they did or not. Um, they might have at some point. Somebody out there can leave a comment. Um, I could have sworn they did have a match in WCW if my memory is correct, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure on that. Do you think WWE will ever sign Adam Cole? Probably. I mean, he's one of those guys that I think will end up in NXT sooner than later. Same thing with Ricochet. Same thing with the Young Bucks. Same thing with Kenny Omega. I think that those are the next group of guys to end up in NXT. The next generation of NXT superstars are the guys I just named. Um, I think it's inevitable that all those guys I mentioned will be there eventually. Um, is the Cruiserweight division an afterthought yet? Well, WWE's trying this 205 show um, after SmackDown on the network. This might be WWE's last-ditch effort to try and garner interest in the Cruiserweight division. Uh, will it be successful? Time will tell on that. But, um, yeah, the Cruiserweight division hasn't exactly been lighting the world on fire. Although I did enjoy the match this week, the... Uh, the stuff with Rich Swan was good. So, um, you know, if the guys are able to go out there and do their thing and um, can interact with some of the other talent and not just be in their own little universe, then I think the Cruiserweight division would have more of a chance of succeeding. What former star do you think we might see in the Royal Rumble? That's a great question. I'd love to see somebody different. You know, I'm tired of the usual Jim Duggins in the Royal Rumble or Sergeant Slaughter. I like when we see somebody we haven't seen in a very long time. The Hardy Boys would be awesome. You know, if Matt and Jeff are done with TNA, um, that, would be, that would be incredible. Broken Matt Hardy in the Royal Rumble. Imagine the reaction that would get. Um, I think everybody would be doing the delete chants. Um, that, that, that would be an incredible Royal Rumble moment. EC3 would be pretty cool. I mean, if uh, WWE could get any big TNA star in the Royal Rumble, that would be awesome. Um, can we see the Steiner Brothers in the Hall of Fame? Or can I see it? Um, yes, the Steiner Brothers should 100% be in the Hall of Fame. But of course, the issue I think WWE has is with Scott Steiner and him having a live microphone. I think that scares the crap out of people in WWE, the idea of Steiner having a live mic. And uh, because of that, I think they're very hesitant about putting Steiner in the Hall of Fame. Scott Steiner, that is. When will Jim Cornette and Vince Russo make up like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels did? I would like to see it happen. I mean, I think for the longest time, people have been trying to have a, a confrontation between Jim Cornette and Vince Russo where they can bury the hatchet. Um... I'd love to see it. I, I, would, I would even pay money to see the two of them face-to-face -face in a room with live microphones and see what happens. I think that that would be extremely entertaining. And um, I would buy a ticket for it. So if uh, High Spots or RF Video or one of those groups could put that together, um, that, that would be money. But it hasn't happened yet, so I think, I think it's going to take a lot of money to get those guys to do something like that. Um, Russo seems to be on board with the idea, but I think it's Cornette that's, that's holding back. Do you think they will induct Vader into the Hall of Fame from Mark? Um, yes, and the, the fact that Mick Foley has campaigned for it, um, I, I think it's very likely that Vader will go in, as he should, while he's still alive. Um, you know, he deserves that honor, and he deserves to live to see it happen. So, hopefully he will get that moment this year. Who do you want to see Goldberg at? at who do you want to see Goldberg face at WrestleMania from Salvador? Salvatore. Um, 
I'd love to see Goldberg versus Ryback, actually, believe it or not. I'd love to see Ryback come back and attack Goldberg and set up a match between the two of them, even though I'm not sure it would, it would be a technical masterpiece or anything like that. Um, uh, I, I think it would be very entertaining. Um, Kurt Angle returns at the Rumble. I doubt it. Um, if Kurt Angle ends up in the WWE 2K18 video game next year, then I think that's the real sign Kurt's coming back. If we look at the pattern, Sting went in the video game, came back. Brock went in the video game, came back. Savage was in the game, and uh, unfortunately he passed away, but he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Same thing with Warrior. But then um, we had Goldberg go into the video game and then come back. So if Kurt Angle ends up in the video game next year, I think that that's a great sign that WWE is going to bring him back. But until that happens, I, I don't think we're going to see Kurt Angle in a WWE ring. But I, I think we should at least get to see him in the Hall of Fame one day. Um, DK or DCC? DK, I mean, I'm not a fan of this DCC thing from what I've seen. It just, what are they, anonymous or something? Um, to me, it's just another lame group. No better than aces and eights. Um, you know, TNA just walking on a treadmill, making no progress. Do you see a Johnny Mundo return? Um, John Morrison, I mean, people ask that question every now and then. He seems to be doing fine for himself in Lucha Underground. So um, I think that's unlikely as well. But again, never say never. I mean, that that's a great thing about WWE doing something shocking like Goldberg winning and it really gives us this this feeling that anything can happen tommy asks benoit in the hall of fame no not going to happen wwe is very careful about their image and because of that they're not going to do that um zach asks would you be surprised if you saw bobby Roode win the rumble as an nxt star and not be part of the show yet um yes i would be very surprised i do not see Roode being on the main roster in the near future just because he he is he is one of the newer stars and it seems to be the guys are being called up in order and um you know one would think since joe's been there for a long time he'll be the next one to be called up just by that logic um unless wwe changes plans really root should be there too i mean that's the thing i mean these guys are ready for prime time it's not like they need more time to get better at their craft um they're already among the best in the world they should be on the main roster. I'd love to see Joe at the Royal Rumble. Um, Rude versus Joe. Um, you know, I, I think at the next takeover in San Antonio, it'll probably be Joe versus Nakamura one more time to settle their feud. And uh, the loser will end up on the main roster, hopefully. Um, Jeremiah Dorsett, do you see Mr. Kennedy returning to WWE? That would be an interesting Royal Rumble entry. Mr. Kennedy coming out. I would like to see that one happen. Um, will it happen? I mean, I, I would be surprised, but that, that would be a surprise I would like to see personally. I think that that would be a cool nostalgic moment to see Mr. Kennedy come back. China in the Hall of Fame, um, that, that's also a possibility for this coming year. Owen Hart, again, as long as Martha Hart's against it, it's not going to happen. So we can keep we can keep protesting it, but... You know, I think WWE wants to put Owen in. It's just a matter of getting um, on Martha's good side and, and her giving her blessing for it. Should Andy Kaufman be in, in the Hall of Fame for Celebrities from Corey? Absolutely 100%. I mean, Andy Kaufman and Jerry Lawler had such a great storyline that they worked with together in uh, in uh, Memphis back in the early 80s. And... Um, that, that was uh, very compelling stuff when uh, Andy Kaufman was on uh, David Letterman and they had that confrontation between Kaufman and Lawler. Um, so yeah, I, I think Kaufman absolutely should be in the Hall of Fame, even though he wasn't involved with WWE. Um, that was still one of Jerry Lawler's biggest career highlights was that, that storyline with Andy Kaufman for sure. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this edition of No DQ Live. Um, hold your questions because I will be back tomorrow night. Yes, it is my birthday tomorrow, but I will be doing another No DQ Live after SmackDown. So stay tuned for that. This will be up on the main channel. If you're watching this live, check it out. YouTube.com slash Aaron Rift No DQ. Check out my personal channel. YouTube.com slash Aaron Rift. 
Stay tuned to NoDQ.com for the very latest, and I will see you guys next time for more.